Now the pace car is going to peel off to pit road as the drivers come around turn 11 and through turn 12. The green flag is in the air. We are racing here in Sonoma. As Tyler Reddick is going to be able to get the jump on Chase Elliott. He's going to lose second. And Kyle Larson is going to try to make a move down to turn number 7. A very late on the brakes. Kyle Larson takes second away. Dale Hunt Jr. gets around Chase Elliott for the third position. He's, Chase Elliott is not going to give it up easy though. Out of 3A, Chase Elliott is going to take second back on the high side. As Tyler Reddick continues to extend his lead over Kyle Larson. Coming around turn 11. Ready, clips the apex. He's going to spin out and save it. But it's going to cost him a lot of grass when he comes to the last lap of stage number one. But it doesn't look like it's, it's going to happen. Reddick takes it nice and easy through the S's. Around turn 11. It looks like Tyler Reddick is going to pick up his first playoff point of the season. He will win the stage. Now the pace car is going to pull off to pit road. And the drivers are approaching turn 12. And the green flag will fly once again. Five laps to go in this race. And it's a terrible start from Chase Elliott. He's down into the fourth position, but he's not going to give up third place easy. He's to the inside of Dale Hart Jr. And out of turn number seven. He's going to be clear with it as Brad Keselowski is going to try to have a run. As Kyle Larson continues to chase down Tyler Reddick. Four laps to go in this race. Now we got trouble on turn 11. It's Austin Cedric and Dale Wallace Jr. And that'll bring out our first caution for cause here on lap number five. Let's take a look at how it happened. Looks like Dale Wallace Jr. had a run on Austin Cedric. Cindric probably thought he was clear, but Wallace was right there. Here's a slow motion replay. Wallace races a Cindric a little too aggressively into turn number 11. Great job by Hamlin and Kyle Bush to avoid it. What a tough break for both rookie Bubba Wallace and championship competitor Austin Cindric. As they come around turn 11 through turn 12, and the green flag is going to fly once again. Two laps to go, and it's a terrible start from Kyle Larson. Chase Elliott is going to have a run coming out of turn 4 into 4A. Chase Elliott takes second away as he's going to begin to chase down Tyler Reddick. And Kyle Larson is still there as Reddick locks up into 7. That's going to give Chase Elliott a chance. It's going to have to take him a miracle to take the win now. Coming into turn 11, Chase Elliott is going to have a run. He makes a late dive to the inside. It's going to be Chase Elliott to pick up his second career Hot Wheels Cup Series win here at Sonoma. Let's take another look at how we got it done. Tyler Reddick coming into turn number 7, locks the front right, and slows his car down. And that was enough to give Chase Elliott a chance to capitalize by doing this late dive bomb here. T coming into turn number 11, Chase Elliott very, very late on the brakes. And Tyler Reddick is forced to go wide. And that was enough to give Chase Elliott a spot in the playoffs along with his second career NASCAR Hot Wheels Cup Series win. Congratulations to the driver of the number 900 Motorsports Chevrolet.